Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's uh, it's 1-13-2023, and it's Friday. Friday the 13th, you guys. Um, be careful of Jason out there and Freddy Krueger and everyone else out there that's uh, lurking the streets. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I thought I'd do a little video. Not much going on. You know, they were hitting my kidneys. Uh, hitting my kids kidneys I was talking back to them which I really don't care um, and they were hitting my kidneys uh, when I was trying to lay down and take a nap um, they were hitting my kidneys um, you know uh, you know the thing is is they make us so tired and and um, you know uh, you know they make us so tired in this program and and you know they make us not have any energy you know I take several naps naps a day you know you guys um i try to i don't i don't actually sleep believe me i'm laying there being remote or monitored i don't i don't sleep when i when i lay down for an hour or so um i don't sleep they don't they just keep us tired all the time with no energy and everything else that's part of this program um you know they want to keep you isolated no energy um remote or monitoring all day long and provoking you and many thousands of other things they do in this program to torture us you know it is torture it's torture everything is torture um when they do it repeatedly um it's torture you know you get remote or monitor 24 7 and everything else that's torture it really is torture um you know even if these guys don't think it is you know um if you put somebody's head under a faucet and that faucet is dripping every 10 seconds on somebody's head. That's considered torture. That is torture. You know, it's a re repeated act of, uh, you know, torture. So, you know, it, it may seem like little, but it's a psychological warfare operation type of thing, you know, and stuff. So it is, um, you know, um, if you're sitting there for an hour and you have a drop of water on your head every 10 seconds, um, that can drive you crazy if you don't have a, a strong mind, you know, so it's torture, you know, so I went up there and shaved and all this stuff, and I'm um, just, I'm sitting here, I'm, I, I am having a drink, um, having a drink, um, rum, uh, rum mixed with, uh, Diet Pepsi, um, rum is actually good for the heart, um, it's a natural blood thinner, um, if you had a heart attack, you're usually on blood thinners, I'm not on a blood thinner right now, but, uh, you know, so rum is actually good for the heart. Um, if you don't drink, you know, I mean, if you're drinking it all day long, it's not going to be good. But I have four drinks, four drinks, you guys. Um, that's it. I get a little buzz on, I go to bed. You know, that's all I drink. You know, and we're talking that much, you know. Um, so, anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, you know, I do want to talk about the program, you know. Um... Going back to the medical issues and, and stuff like that, um, you know, there's some stubborn TIs out there. You know, I hate to, I hate to say it, <clears throat> but there are some stubborn TIs out there. They think they're winning this, and they think they're fighting for the country and all this stuff. They don't want to go, go get medical help and all this stuff. Um, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, they don't want you to go get medical help um, so they can keep on torturing you. Um, that's a little trick. Uh, mind trick, uh, and I'll talk about mind tricks, um, you know, that's a mind trick in this program, they don't want you to go, to, go get medical help, you guys, um, usually it has to stop, it has to stop when you go get medical help, they have to stop what they're doing, they may lighten up on you for a while, it might be a long while, it might be a year, it might be six months, it might be three months, they will lighten up on you if you go get medical help. If you have insurance, you guys, don't hesitate to go get medical help. If you don't want to talk about this, talk about the symptoms. If you're worried about getting locked up, talk about the symptoms. You know, um, and they might, the thing is, they might find a real problem with your body, with your heart, your kidneys, your liver. You know, they will do blood work to make sure you're okay and you will get care. Um, I got care. They did everything for me when I went to the ER. I got good care there. 
Um, they gave me good care. Um, Nine thousand dollars worth of care. You know, they were doing everything. They did not want me in that hospital. They let me go right away. They did not want me in that hospital. What What's the reason for that? Do these guys get in trouble, or do they they know they have to lay off you if they send you to the hospital? It's possible. Um, don't sit there and let these guys kill you, you guys. Go get medical help. If you think, if you think in your best judgment that you should go to the hospital, go to the hospital. Drive yourself. I don't have a vehicle right now, so I have to call 911. And I will continue to call 911. And sometimes they send a police officer to take me down there. Now, here's the thing. It's a mind trick. It's a psyop. You know, my sister's like, oh, if you have to go to the hospital, I'll come take you anytime. Well, she can't. She works 40 hours a week. She can't take me at any time to go to the hospital, okay? I don't have a vehicle right now. Otherwise, I'd drive myself. So, I do call 911. And, and these guys, what they do in my program is they lie. They lie their ass off, you guys. They tell people they're FBI when they're not. They tell people they're FBI when they're not. Now, they were trying to discourage me not to go to the hospital, um, even in the ambulance. They're like, oh, can your sister help you? And then they said, oh, well, we better take you just in case it's a hard thing, you know. So then they took me. But they were trying to discourage me. Oh, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to get out of the ambulance. I'm going to go back in the house. I'm going to call my sister, wait for her to come down, whether they're giving me extreme heartburn, burning my esophagus. You know, and we're going to do all this stuff, and we're going to go down to the hospital and all this stuff, and it's going to take me an hour to get in to see anybody and all this stuff. And I might just give up and go home. That's what they want, you guys. They want you to go to the hospital, you know, drive down there, have somebody take you, try to get in the ER. If it's not that serious, they will send you to walk in the walk-in clinic if it's not that serious. When you're in a hell of a lot of pain, you guys, and you can't take it, call 911. They hate that. They hate that. They hate that people are paying attention to you and they're giving you medical help. They hate that. You know, these guys, they think our life is worth shit. You know, they think we don't deserve to live. That's what. That's the way their mentality is. That's the way they think in this program. They think we deserve to die. And that's what they think. And they are trying to kill us in a slow way. You know, so... They hate it when the ambulance comes and gives me medical help and they're giving me an IV and they're giving me aspirin and they're giving me nitro and everything else to make sure I'm okay. They hate that. They hate They hate that the nurses are there to help me. They hate that and they can't control that. They wish they could control that. And they lie to people and think they're all powerful and everything else. But they were working on me when I went down there uh, almost two weeks ago now. So they hate that, that people are paying attention to you and they're there to take care of you. They hate that. They hate it. They hate us. They hate us. I hate them and they hate us. They want to kill us. I mean, they, they really do. They want to kill us, you guys. Um, you know, in their delusional, in their delusional mind, they think they can kill us and nobody's going to give a shit. You know, that's in their delusional mind. It, I'll tell you something. If they kill us, they're going to kill them. That's what's going to happen. You know, if they kill us, they're going to kill them. And that's what's going to happen to these people. They're nothing but pieces of shit. You know, yes, I know research are, researchers are involved in all this stuff. But the people torturing me are pieces of shit. Drunks. Drug addicts, they're nothing. They hang around little boys. They hang around little girls. And they're not very good people, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I've seen it. <laughs> I mean, I've seen them. I've seen these people hanging around little boys. And that's what they're into. You know, if you go to John Storm's page, 
John Storm or uh, Super Soldier. Uh, uh, he does interviews of su Super Soldiers on YouTube. He had John Storm on there, and he said he was a handler. He was a handler. He's like, yep, they use these guys. They're in the little boys and everything else. They use them all in these programs, and that's what they do in these programs. They're sickos, you guys. They're sickos. So what I'm saying is if you are in trouble, go to that hospital. If you don't want to talk about this, don't talk about it. You know, they might find something wrong with you, you know. They'll do blood work and everything else. They might find something wrong with you. You know, we will get medical care, okay? Now, there's a couple TIs out there that say, that oh, they gave me a heart attack today. They gave me a heart attack today. and They gave me a heart attack. Okay, now, here's the reality, reality of that, okay? When I had a heart attack, they gave me a heart attack on Sunday. A big heart attack. Blocked. Blocked two of my arteries okay now my arteries are clear you guys are clear i don't have no plaque nothing in my arteries okay like i said a thousand times the thing is they gave me a little heart attack on saturday night when i went to bed they gave me a little heart attack they were able to block my artery 20 percent and then i think they were hitting me with direct energy weapons to make it feel like I was having a heart attack, okay? They're able to do this with these weapons. If they are giving you little heart attacks, they could be blocking your arteries 10 or 20% each time they're doing that. They could be doing damage to your arteries every time they give you a fake, a fake heart attack, okay? Now, this is nothing to play around with. If they are doing that, you should go to the hospital and get medical help. You know, I, you know, some some TIs are like, I'm fighting for my country. You know, I'm not gonna go get help. I'm blah blah. Okay, you're stupid. Okay, now you're just you're just being stubborn and you're stupid. Okay, they can do this stuff with this with these weapons. They can. I mean, I don't know. They must have a picture of something. And they can block your arteries 10%, 20%, and give you a little heart attack. And they give you a bunch of little heart attacks and do damage to your system. You have to go to the hospital. You have to. If you're on Medicare or whatever, you have insurance or whatever, go to the hospital and get checked out. It doesn't cost you anything if you have insurance go to the hospital and get checked out they can do that they did it to me saturday night they gave me a little heart attack they blocked my artery 20 percent 20 percent and then sunday they blocked the other one totally two spots two spots like that blocked blocked okay and they were hitting me with direct energy weapon on top of it Making so I couldn't breathe, you know. So what was it a real heart attack, or was it direct energy? Web? I think it was both. It was going down my arms, you know. I had the pain down my arms, and everything else. It was a real heart attack, but I think they were hitting me with direct energy weapons too, to make it so I couldn't breathe more, you know, and stuff. And they did it until they put stents in, you know, and it stopped, you know. So. um that's what they do. They can cause damage. If if you think they're giving you a heart attack and it's not doing any any damage or anything like that, you could be wrong. They could be messing up your arteries and blocking them a little bit, you know. And it's an unexplained health attack. It's unexplained. If you are a healthy male or woman or whatever, you know, and you don't have any health issues... You know, they could be doing real damage to your heart. Um, and that's nothing to play around with. You don't want to mess with your heart. You know, you don't want to mess around with that. Um, you know, you could die, you know, and, and stuff. So, 
don't mess around with that, you guys. Go get medical help. Um, they can do a lot of things with, with these weapons. I don't know if they have a picture of our body, our anatomy, heart, liver, kidneys, all that stuff. I don't know how they hit all that stuff. If they have a visual on a screen or something where they hit the heart and all this stuff. I don't know how they do it. But they must have a picture where they can hit that artery, hit that artery, give you a heart attack. If they want to kill you, they could kill you if they want to. You know? And we all know that. They could choke us to death. They could cut our airway off until we die. We know they have that capability to do that to us. You know, I hate these people. Um, they do have the ability to kill us. And they could kill us with no proof. Uh, no proof. Well, he suffocated to death. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, how did I suffocate to death? You know, um, explain that. So it is unexplained health attacks, just like the diplomats and all that stuff. Don't play around with this stuff, you guys. Go get checked out. If you have insurance, go get checked out. If you're on Medicare, get Medicare Part C. It costs zero, zero dollars a month. And you will get dental, hearing, uh, and other benefits uh, that will cover this stuff if you have to go to the hospital. You don't end up with a big bill, you know. So that's my advice for tonight. Um, you know, we can't mess around with our health, you guys. You know, um... We can't mess around with our health. Um, you know, don't let them sit there and kill you. You're not proving anything. If you think you're fighting for your country and everything else, by sitting there taking a beating, don't sit there and take a beating. You know, you're not proving anything. And you're not going to win. You know, if you think shielding is going to beat this and all this stuff, they're, they're letting you beat them if they want to. You're not beating anything. They could take us down anytime they want. They could take us down and kill us anytime they want. You know, don't sit there and fool yourself. And uh, it's a mind trick. You know, don't sit there and fool yourself. If you think you're going to beat this, you're not going to beat it. You know, it's not going to happen. They could kill us at any time. They could take us out right now if, we, if they wanted to. You know, and here's a little secret. They could be taken out right now if whoever wanted to take them out. They could be taken out right now because they're being watched. Everything they're doing is being watched and recorded. And it's all being watched, you guys, by another group. So, um, you know, they could be taken out too right now. They could be given a heart attack right now in front of their family when they're at the dinner table. And they could be taken out too. So, um, these guys think they're untouchable. They're not. They're not. There's a group out there hitting everyone. They're going to come after these guys next. They're coming after them next, I swear to God. They're coming after them next. I've been right so far. I've been saying it for years. And this group is going to come for them. And they're going to be taken out. You know, They're going to be in a nursing home shitting and pissing themselves. That's where they're going to be. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, you guys have a good night. Have a drink or something and chill out and relax. And I'll talk to you guys later.